Hey guys, Rock and Row here with another Rise of Empires Ice and Fire video. We today are going to do our specialization reset into the green left that is going to allow us to increase some specialization points. Uh, like I showed you in the last video, we have been switching back and forth from the blue right to the blue left. And Rock and Row right now is on blue left, uh, processing all of the materials that I have. And we can go in and see, I am almost processed all of my materials. And I, normally I would wait until I've processed everything, but even if I process everything, I'm not quite gonna be able to take the next tile up. Right now we're going for 15s. I'm taking 13s right now, and I've been processing enough material to be able to upgrade my coalition base camps to a point where I'll get that going again, and to a point where I can take 15s with a blue right reset. So what I needed to accomplish was 6,000 loyalty without any blue right. Now I do have a little bit of blue right that offers gives me 240 extra points right now. So without the 240 extra points, you can see I'll have 6,000 loyalty. So 6,000 loyalty plus if I go into the blue right specialization, and I will have enough specialization points to do 300 plus 300 for 600, 900, and then to 1,200. So that will give me 1,200 extra loyalty, which will then give me 7,200 loyalty, which will be enough to take 15s without poison. So that's the goal here. So a couple little things that I need to show you. We've been going back and forth to the, from the blue right to the blue left. Uh, Rock and Row went to the blue right filled up on all 13s, and then switched to the blue left to be able to process all of that material. And over the time I've been holding onto these 13s, been taking some more 12s and whatnot, but as you can see, I've been losing some of my 13s throughout battles and whatever else. So, you know, do expect that you will lose a few of those tiles and that's okay. But as long as you have enough to sustain the amount of materials that you need to be able to get to that next tier. So like I say, with myself, I was at, uh, earlier on I was in the, the 5,600 loyalty uh, with my blue right, uh, 900 extra points on blue right, so that would have given me, uh, I was at 4,700 when I switched. So 4,700 plus the 900 gives me the 5,600. So that's what I did. I went to 5,600 loyalty. I filled up on all of my 13s. And like I say, I've been taking some 12s now too. But I filled up on all 13s. And I switched to the blue left. Processed it all. And now I have upgraded my coalitions to a point where I can go back to the blue right. But one thing that I want to show you guys is this green left trick that some people have been hearing about and asking me about. And... I also need to do it right now too because I need to get to 47 spec to be able to get 1200 extra points on the blue right. This right here maxed out takes 47 specialization points and as you can see I have 44 so I'm going to show you guys a little trick here. I'll get these extra honor in here and I'll show you guys the green left trick that we can do. Now the green left trick, I'm, I'm going to do one right now to show you guys. Uh, feel free to do it at any point that you want, but just be aware that what you will need to do is you will need to save up as much materials for your construction front lines or construction materials for your frontline workshops as you can possibly get together. So I'll show you real quick if I go into, I think it's in others here, let's just double check. Yeah, so I have 7,864, or sorry, 7 million. 864,000 uh, construction materials. So that's going to be enough to upgrade my front lines somewhat. I think I'm going to maybe make them all 17 or I might make 120 and one whatever it gets to. But it takes about 5 million to go from a level 10 front line to a level 20 front line. And like I've told you guys before, we wanted to upgrade our front lines to level 10, possibly a level 11, depending on kind of how much materials you happen to pick up along the way. But I did end up upgrading one to a level 11 and the rest are still level 10s. So the idea here is that we want to 
go into our green left specialization and be able to have as many of these upgrades as possible to utilize there because we're going to get extra honor from that green left. So I try to leave the front lines at around 10. That gives you the chance to do a lot of upgrades with them and it still gives you the fast enough processing speed so that you can kind of get up to those higher tiles and be able to perform this at least for the first time. So I'm going to show you first the specialization that we're going to go into is this green left right here. And as you can see, it's each, each of these nodes, uh, each upgrade of each of these nodes gives you plus three honor gain, honor gain after upgrading your buildings. So for, uh, and each one maxed gives plus nine. So we can get plus nine, plus nine, plus nine. And then the idea here is that we're going for this skill right here. This is very important, the civil engineering skill. So what that's going to do, it's, it's, a, it's an active skill. So you will activate it and it lasts for two hours. It has an eight hour cooldown. But what it's going to do is if we max this out, it's going to give us this 100% honor gain for up for two hours while we're upgrading those buildings. So 100% plus we're going to get 27% there. And I would continue to go up into getting even more honor up this way. Each of these nodes is going to give you more honor. So this isn't a skill that we stay on. Uh, not right now anyways. You might want to stay on it towards the end of the season once you've upgraded all of your buildings and you just want this one skill right here, because this is kind of cool that, you know, you press the button and you get a large amount of honor instantly. Higher the total honor structure level, the more honor will be gained, and you can use that once every day. So I found that once you have all of your honor buildings upgraded, you're going to get about a half a million, roughly, maybe a little bit more honor from this active skill each time you press that each day. So that's, that's pretty cool, but we don't want that right now. That's not what we're looking for. What we're looking for is all of the honor gain, this active skill to give us 100% honor when we're increasing or upgrading our buildings. And then some people, I, what I would recommend is if you do have the extra points, uh, I would at least go fill these guys. And then once you've got to this node maxed, before you do this skill, I would do these guys on the bottom, which these nodes give you a reduction of construction materials when you're upgrading your honor structures. So the materials will go a little bit further and therefore you'll be able to do more upgrades with that same material and get more honor out of them. So I'll show you guys how this looks and how it's going to work. And like I say, in the end, I expect to be able to take 15s once I'm done this whole process. So first of all, what we want to do is, and like I say, I, I would normally go until I've used processed all of my materials. So as you can see, I still have 2 million, 3 million, 2 million there, 1 million there, and 1.1 million there. So I have approximately about 4 million base camp materials saved up still that I could process. But like I say, the 4 million isn't going to give me enough to get to the next tier, which would be 16s. So I'm going to do this right now. And I'm also stuck on the point where I have, a, I have a reset from my Imperial investment, which it expires in at the end of today. So it expires in about an hour here. So I kind of pushed this as far as I could go to show, and I want to show you guys this before my reset expires, but obviously I have a free reset. I'm not going to let that go to waste. So we're doing that right now. So first of all, very important because we are on the blue left specialization and we have all of these tiers open what you need to do is you need to go into your your processing and you need to make sure that you're processing you fill all of these queues you know start them all over get the maximum amount in them because what's going to happen once we do this reset these queues are going to continue running and they'll continue running until all of these materials have been processed in each of these queues. And once these, pro these processing queues are all finished processing, then it will revert back to just the one processing queue or however, however many queues you have open at that time. But I won't have five, that's for sure. So very important, fill all of those queues before you do this because you can still utilize all of those queues while you're doing this. Second step, we're going to go and we're going to use any kind of uh, free specialization reset that we have. Or if you don't, then you might have to use one of your supers. 
but we will go in and we'll go to our resets. And as you can see, I have a free reset and then I also have a basic and I have a super. So I'm going to use two right now. So I'll use the free specialization reset and my basic specialization reset. And then I'll save the super for later because that one's uh, good anytime. And obviously I want to use the free one. And then the basic is only good every once every seven days. I'll have to let it cool down for seven days. So we're going to use that today and then hopefully be able to use another one next week. So first off, we will go and we will do our reset. Okay, so specialization resetted. So we'll go back in and I have now I have no points on the blue left. So I will go into the green left and this is where we're going to go first. And this is to upgrade all of our buildings or not all of our buildings, but upgrade the amount of buildings that we can using the materials that we have right now. So I will add these guys and this is how you want to do it depending on how many points you have is going to be how far you can get into it but I'll show you the method so this right there is the most important thing those nodes all filled like I have them there next I would put three on this node and then I would put three on these nodes each to be able to reduce the amount of materials that we're using And because this is only a temporary reset, I'm going to actually use all of my specialization points. These upper nodes, you don't really want these uh, right now. Uh, so we go minus nine construction material requirement. This is the resource cost for upgrading honor structures. So this is stuff like your iron, your lumber, your food, uh, not including construction materials and military supplies. So, you know, I, I don't like to use that because I have enough resources to be able to upgrade these buildings. I'm looking for a reduction of the, the reign of chaos materials, but not for normal materials. And really, it's not a whole lot to upgrade those. So I don't think I would waste any specialization points on these upper ones. But then I do have some left over, so I'm going to put five on this guy and then I'm going to add some more on these so I'll do as many as I can I think I'll do three there and then I can add three more here and then I can add one more there so I've used all of my specialization points into the green left and each of these give you another nine percent honor so I'm getting nine eighteen twenty seven thirty six 45, 54, 63, uh, what would that be? 72 plus three, so 75% extra honor from upgrading my buildings, plus the 100% that I'll get from this skill. So now that I have all of my specialization points in there, I want to go and I want to activate this skill. That's important. Don't forget this because that it does need to be activated. So this is the honor award that I was talking about that you can use at the end. Don't use it right now. Use it after you've upgraded your buildings because it does depend on how high your structure levels are. So we want this civil engineering right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click that and then it's going to start its timer. So it's good for two hours, but it does have an eight hour cooldown. So be aware that you only get the points for two hours. So this needs to happen now. Now, if you invest in Imperial investment, you will also be getting these honor cards which are somewhere here. There we go. These guys right here, these honor bonuses. So you'll be getting these honor cards from Imperial Investment. This also gives you another 100%. So all in all, I will be getting an extra 275% increase on my honor structure upgrades when I do this. So I'll use one of these. This is good for 30 minutes. So this actually you know, needs to happen within about a 30 minute window. And this is why I've told everybody, save up your gems. It's a lot of gems to be able to do this and or speed ups if you want that, if you have speed ups. But the only way this works is to do this within 30 minutes. So we need to upgrade a lot of buildings within 30 minutes and it's a lot of time to be spent on upgrades. So you will need the gems. As you can see, I have 582,000 gems. We're going to use a good chunk of them right now. 
So now that I have all of my bonuses running, I have the honor card, I have the active skill, and I have the extra from the green left. Now I will go into my Reign of Chaos menu, I will go to my honor structures, and I can go and start upgrading my buildings. So, as you can see, it starts out, you know, we're looking at close to 3,000 gems, so I just want to make sure that I have everything in place, so I got the honor card, I've got the bonus activated, I've got green left, and that will be all. So, now we can go ahead and go upgrade. Oh, and the other thing too is I've also chosen a building day. That's what I forgot. I knew I was forgetting something. I chose building day to do this. So I'm also going to activate a Clash of Provinces card. If you're not on building day, obviously the Clash of Provinces card doesn't do anything for you. But if you get the chance, do this either on a building day or I chose a Sunday, a free, free day, and I chose building day to be able to do these upgrades. So now that I have the Clash of Provinces activated as well, I knew I was forgetting something. Now we're good to upgrade our buildings. And I'm also, I picked an hourly that also uh, will, what is the hourly? It's speed up or it's building. Let's see real quick. Yeah, so building power. So building power or speed ups works as well. If you have a, any speed up or a building speed up hourly, that works as well. And then also take into account here, I'm going to do one more of these right now. But depending on how much honor you're getting, you will start to be filling up this bar. See, I'm almost full on this bar. So I'm going to do one more upgrade. And then I want to make sure that I go back out to that specialization and get this other point. So now you can see I have one more point that came up because I filled that bar. So you want to continue to add to these as you go because why waste them if you can add extra honor as you're going. So we'll see kind of where we're going here. I'm not 100% sure if I want to do all to 17 or 1 to 20. I think I'll show you guys to 20 because this is typically how it's going to work and that's going to give you either way kind of works the same but we're going to take this one to 20 so and as you can see I'm getting a lot of points for my clash of provinces for my hourly and then I'm also getting a lot of points for my specialization as you can see I've almost filled up a whole nother specialization point. So we'll go and we'll do one more and we'll see where we're at. So one more is going to get me the next point. There we go. We have one more point and I will add that again to my green left. Make sure that you're adding these. And like I say, so now we're looking at 10,000 gems. So it's very important that uh, you definitely save up your gems for this. So now I've upgraded one front line to 20. And again, I'm almost full on a whole nother point here. So I can go into another front line. And I think what I might do, I may not go all the way to 20 with this one. I might do... Using gems for lumber. Don't do that. I think I'll go... I've go. got another specialization point. Now, this... 
trick, guys. If you want to maximize the amount of honor that you're getting and therefore the amount of specialization points, this reset trick is super important. I mean, like I say, I'm getting 275% extra materials. From these upgrades I mean almost three almost four times the amount that I would normally be getting so an extra 275 percent so three more times on top of what I would normally get just for the one so where we're at we're at 15 we're gonna go 15 you know what I'll take this one to 17 and I think I might be close so I mean I do have the 47 spec so I'm happy with that that's gonna give me enough specialization points to do the 1200 on the blue right when I'm ready to do this so I think what we're gonna do is for now since I have 47 I'm going to do the smaller upgrades. I think I'll go to level 13 on that one. And again, this whether you do it now or you do it later, it doesn't really matter on the levels as long as you're doing them all through the green, green left specialization. So there, okay, so that's going to be where we're going to end up. I've used up all of my materials. And we are now looking at 20, 17, 13, 11. So that's going to A, increase my processing speed tremendously. B, I now have 48 specialization points. Uh, and normally if you wanted to continue going with the buildings, yes, I would put another one there, add it, and continue on. But now I'm at the point where I've used up all of my materials and I'm ready to switch to my green right now to take the next higher tile. So this this reset can be done basically anytime that you've got that amount of materials that you want to, pro uh, or that you have processed that you want to use to upgrade your buildings. So that's why we say upgrade your front lines to level 10 and then leave them there and wait until you've got a bunch of construction material saved up. Now come and do this green left specialization reset like I'm showing you. So that's gotten me a few extra specialization points, and that's really cool because now we can go and take 15s. So we'll see. I got a, I just real quick, since I've got these cards active, you don't get a whole lot of honor from the coalition camps, but I do have a few that I need to upgrade. So I'm going to find the cheapest one. Be aware that, I mean, a lot of people aren't, aren't aware of this. But each of these coalition camps, so there's coalition one, two, three, and four. Coalition one is the cheapest to upgrade for materials, but is the longest time. Coalition two is a shorter time, but more materials. Coalition three, even more. And coalition four is the shortest time, but the most materials. So be aware that there is a, always a cheapest option and you kind of want to stick to the cheapest option to be able to get to the highest tile fastest. So I'm going to go through these real quick and just see. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, so that one's going to be 2.9 million. Coalition 3 is going to be 2.8 million, so very close, but still 3 is cheaper. And Coalition 4 is 2.7. So this is the one I'm going to upgrade first. I'm just going to go with gems, and there we go. And again, coalition, like I say, they don't give a whole lot. Uh, honor increase is like 30,000, so, I mean, it's peanuts. You might get 100,000 or so, 150,000 once you've got the, the bonuses on there. But hey, every bit of honor counts. And now we've used up all of our materials, so we can now go back in, and we can go and do another reset, and we will switch to our... blue right and like I showed you before oh I should have showed you here I'll show you before I add any more I should have six well I, I did one coalition so now I'll have 6100 loyalty without any blue right so 6000 loyalty plus 1200 was going to give me the 7200 so now I'll get the 1200 and I'll end up with uh, 
7300. And that'll allow us to take 15s. We'll go and fill up on 15s and we're going to repeat the process again. Not necessarily including the green left again, but we're going to go and repeat the process blue right, blue left, blue right, blue left. And again, I like to use the blue right, the bottom on the blue right, because it gives a faster healing speed in the coalition camp. The top one gives cheaper resources. And honestly, we don't really, I mean, we should all have enough resources to be healing these troops without too much of an issue. It's the speed that we're worried about. So I would definitely be sticking to the speed. And we'll just get all of these filled here. And if I could have gone a little bit longer, I would have got two more base camp upgrades and I could have stopped on this one and still been able to take 15s. Because 900 plus the 6300 that I would have if I have two more upgrades would leave me with the, uh, the ability to take those tiles, take 15s right now. So, um, you know what, now that I'm reset, like I say, I was thinking I was going to go here, but now that I'm actually looking at it, I think what I'm going to do is because I have five processing queues open and they're all processing material, base camp material right now, I'll get about another million there and then it will take me another few hours. You know what? We're just doing it. We're going to go fill up on 15s right now. I can't wait to get these 15s to be honest. So go back into our specialization and we'll finish up this blue right and the thing is the the more you put into blue right the less you can put into blue left uh the idea is i want to take the 15s as fast as i can to be able to switch back to blue left to process materials again soon so this is a, a, a fast process thing guys like do this blue right and then immediately get out and start taking those those next higher tiles fill up on those higher tiles as fast as you can so that you can get back to the blue left because the longer that we're without the processing speed the the longer it's going to take to get to that next tile so i still have one point left over uh one point i think whatever we'll just go with a little extra processing speed so be it and there i can now go and take 15s with my 7300 loyalty as you can see so that's how we can use that green left trick to be able to maximize the amount of specialization points that we're going to get from our honor and therefore get the furthest along in our specialization as we can throughout the season. So I really hope that helps some people. I hope this wasn't too long and lengthy, but I know some people are really curious about how the green left works and that's exactly how it works. So uh, do what you can with what you can and adjust as necessary. Hopefully this helps some of you guys and I'll catch you in the next video.